What's up guys, DD Designs here, also known as XGen DD, and today I'll be showing you a After Effects transition tutorial, and this one's called the Radio Blur Transition. Uh, I use this in my most recent edit, the Introducing XGen Fury episode, and uh, here's what it looks like. There it is, the nice circular motion radio blur transition, and uh, it's a very fast transition, so it's good for the faster songs that have a higher BPM. And um, let me just show you how to do this. So go into new composition, get set your settings right. I already have mine, so I'm going to drag my uh, clips in. These were actually used in that episode that I just showed you. I'm going to go ahead and trim it just a little bit. Trim it to where you want the transition to be, and then have it overlap just about a second. And um, yeah, that's about, that's about a second. So um, next step, you want to create layer new adjustment layer. And this is good where we're actually going to put the transition. And uh, I like to keep it more organized and cut my adjustment layers to where I actually use them and rename them to what they are. So I'm going to do this radial blur X1, and that's transition 1 for X1. And um, we're going to come here to the uh, effects panel and search CC radial blur. And we're going to drag it onto our adjustment layer. And in the beginning, keyframe the amount, then go to the end of it. I press U on the keyboard will open up all the keyframes and then I'm going to keyframe it again then go in the middle and just it'll automatically keyframe it when you set the amount different I'm going to set it to 13. 13 seems to be a nice um, nice blur amount you can't really tell what's going on so that you can put a proper opacity fade in so now for the opacity fade go in between the first two keyframes on the adjustment layer and on the clip itself you need to keyframe the opacity. So press T for opacity on the clip, keyframe it there, and then go in between the next two keyframes, and then keyframe the opacity to zero. So this will already give you somewhat of a transition. It'll just spin it, blur it, and then boom, on to the next clip. And um, you can make that as long as you need it, and you can also change up the uh, radial blur a bit. You can change it on the uh, scratch settings a little bit. Uh, rotate a little bit and you can also change where the center of the scratch is so if you want it like a half circle scratch you can do that but I think the whole whole circle scratch looks better so now we're just gonna perfect this because this isn't you know it's just a it just kinda shows up and happens so you wanna make that more of like a transition type thing so we're gonna highlight all these uh, frames and make it easy ease then highlight the frames that are on radial blur make sure the amount right here is highlighted and then click on the graph over here. And then it brings up this graph right here and gives a nice upslope, downslope. Click on the left side and bring this in, like kind of towards the center. And click on the right side, bring this in kind of towards the center. What this does is it makes, uh, makes the starting of the transition slow and then makes the, uh, like the middle of it really fast. And I put this on a lot of my like blur transitions just because it looks really good and makes it a little bit faster. So now we get this. It's a nice blur on here and then into the next clip. So I'm going to uh, ram preview that real fast, just one sec. All right, it's ram previewed up, and this is what it looks like. Just a nice, fast radial blur transition. So, I mean, of course, that'll look a lot better with color correction and music, but there you have it. This is a tutorial brought to you by DD Designs. Subscribe if it helped out. More to come soon. Thanks a lot. Peace.